Hey, what it do, what it do, traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, we're going to be looking at this amazing trading concept that is definitely going to turn you into a profitable forex trader. So, do smash on that like button for me as it motivates me to continuously show up here almost each and every day for you guys, right? And please note that I do not sell anything in the forex trading space. I do not offer any investment packages. I will never text you first. So, please be aware of scammers out there that may take your money using my name, right? So, without wasting any of your time, guys, let us get on with it, right? So, first things first, right? Let us just look at the structures so here. We can clearly see that we've gotten ourselves a, what, a, continu a continuation pattern there or a flag pattern. Also, we've gotten ourselves a continuation pattern there or a flag pattern, right? So now there is this thing that I usually check out for when I'm trading this kind of set types, right? Please pay attention, guys, right? So for instance, we can clearly see now that, you know, price then sort of like formed this continuation pattern and after it formed this continuation pattern what did it do it broke out of it right so now this breakout is not enough for me right this breakout is not enough for me firstly the sellers have to prove to me that yes they have momentum right this breakout is not enough for me right so the sellers have to sort of like sell themselves to me and sort of like convince convince me that yes bro we are really really going to go to the downland right so now you're probably asking yourself that how are the sellers going to convince me that they have this strong momentum to push price to the upward right so firstly there has to be something that is like this right there has to be a breakout prior to this breakout, right? So if the sellers were able to give me a breakout here, right? If the sellers were able to give me a breakout here, excuse me, right? If they were able to give me a breakout there, right? Then that is sort of like giving me a clue that, oh, okay, maybe the sellers, they, they, they really do want to move price to the upper, right? So one breakout is better than i mean two breakouts is better than one breakout so them having to give me these two breakouts that is just a sign right that is them giving me a sign that yes they have gotten this strong momentum and they really want to prove to push price to the upper right and also this first breakout here let me just sort of like put this uh or let us just put it back to black right this first breakout here I mean, this, this first breakout there is also going to help me with my stop loss entry, right? This first breakout there is also going to help me with my stop loss entry because remember that sometimes when we sort of like receive breakout, we do not know where to place our stop losses and stuff like that. We just sort of like choose any random points uh, th that we can place our stop losses and stuff like that. But now... But now this first breakout is going to help me with my uh, with my stop loss placement. Why? Right? Because when I now get this breakout there, right? I now know that okay, in order for me, in order for price to to sort of like have had chances in hitting my stop losses, I have to slightly put my stop losses just before that breakout happens, somewhere around there, right? I mustn't put I mustn't put my stop loss maybe there right but my stop loss also has to accommodate that first breakout that happened there right so this is also going to help me with my stop loss placement right i'm not going to just uh, I'm, I'm not going to just wait uh, for my first breakout I, i'm not just i'm not just going to wait for a breakout to happen here right and then put my stop loss and then put my stop loss maybe somewhere they know i'm also going to accommodate the first breakout because price is going to have a, a, a very very hard uh, price is going to have a very very hard chance in hitting that stop loss once i have also accommodated that first break out there right so let us sort of like try and get in pre preferably a little bit deeper right so let's just do that let's just do that and please note guys that you can also get my complete trading strategy by joining my group right just know guys that i will never send you anything I'm giving, uh, I give out information for free and stuff like that. So you can join my, my Telegram group to sort of like get my trading strategy, the one that changed my life for free, right? So now 
then that's sort of like get in deep with this uh, with this trading technique right so continuation pattern there we can also see one right and also we can also see a continuation pattern where we can also see a continuation pattern there right so let us just draw our trend lines here right let us draw our trend lines there and stuff like that right let us draw our trend lines there right so now we can clearly see that we had what we had this breakout day right price gave us a breakout to a price gave us a breakout here right but before this breakout happens the buyers have to prove themselves first right before this breakout happens remember the buyers have to do what they have to prove themselves worthy to me right meaning they have to sort of like give me a signal that yes bro we have the gas we have the momentum to push price to the output right because now what is most likely to happen guys right what is most likely to happen right for instance let of for instance let us just get there right or let us just do that right beautiful right so let us just sort of like say that we had this continuation pattern playing out right there right so whenever you are trading a breakout you must try as much as you can to make sure that you do not have any opposing what any opposing trend lines or any opposing resistances or any opposing supports right for instance what do i mean by any opposing support right so you can be like oh okay price then came here and then it and then it gave me a breakout there only to find out that there is a resistance here right only to find out that there is a resistance there and then price might do it then price might come there and then do it respect that resistance and then move to the downward so you must try and make sure that after you've drawn all your all your all your resistances there is no opposing resistance because price might bounce off or from that opposing resistance or from that opposing support right so now here we can clearly see that price gave us a breakout right but before this breakout happened before that breakout happened price then sort of like gave us another breakout right prior to this breakout that really happened right so the first breakout for me is important because it gives me a clue that the buyers really have got momentum right it sort of like gives me a clue that the buyer really has momentum secondly this first breakout for me is important right it, because it will sort of like give me a clue on where i should place my stop loss for instance after a breakout has happened i know now that i'm not supposed to place my stop loss in between of these resistances right but i'm also supposed to accommodate that resistance right there and put and then place my stop loss slightly before that resistance right and, and and stuff like that right so now make sure that whenever you are trading a breakout there is no opposing what there is no opposing support or that or, or, or there is no opposing resistances right for instance let us just say that that there was a resistance that could be drawn maybe somewhere there right and then i have just entered on a breakout there right and then only to find out that price is going to do what price is going to move to the upward right bounce off from that resistance and then move to the down so make sure that there is no resistance or support that is opposing that breakout right for instance we can clearly see that this was the last resistance right this was the last resistance that formed the meaning now that there won't be any other resistance that is going to sort of like make price have a harder time in moving to the upper so please whenever you are trading this kind of continuation patterns right for you to get a higher probability trade setup when it comes to this continuation pattern make sure that you have a, make sure that you have a breakout prior to the to the main breakout right make sure that you have at least two breakouts because the first breakout is going to show you that yes the pass or the sellers really have momentum and also the first breakout is going to help you with the, with your stop loss placement right so that's it for this video guys i hope you did find value if you did do smash on the like button for me see you in the next one don't forget that you can get my my trading strategy for free you can easily join my telegram group the link will be in this video's description see you in the next one cool cool